Hi, I'm Julie Dries. I am the Children's Librarian at the Harrison Township Public Library, and I'd like to welcome you to a, another edition of Reading ABCs, where we look at a letter of the alphabet, we sing some songs, do some stories. So if you have a preschooler, a toddler, or even an elementary school uh, child who is learning their letters, bring them over to the computer because we're just about to get started. The first thing I like to do when we're doing our reading ABCs is to sing the ABC song. So let's grab our ABCs here. Can you sing along with me and help me do all the letters of the alphabet? You know the ABC song, right? Let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Did you sing it with me this time? Thank you so much if you did. I really appreciate your help. And now we're going to take a look at what letter we're going to be looking at today. So over here on my board, let's see if you can figure out what that letter is. Look very carefully. Does it look familiar to you? Raise your hand if you know what letter it is. Okay, you can say it with me. What is our letter? It's a B. Did you say B? Give yourself a pat on the back if you said B. That was very good. And we have a song to go with that, so you can sing this one with me too if you'd like. We sing, what is our letter today? What is our letter today? B is our letter today. B is our letter today. What is is our letter today? What is our letter today? B is our letter today. B is our letter today. And we have the letter B in a whole bunch of places on our chart over here. We've got a big B, little B right here. We can say capital B, lowercase b, or uppercase B and lowercase b. There's lots of different names for it but we're going to learn how to make these B's today. And when we're all done, if you'd like to get a piece of paper and a pencil or some crayons, you can practice drawing these. Today, we're gonna to do some finger writing. So get your finger ready. Everybody have a finger? Put your finger out. We're gonna learn how to make a capital B or a big B. So on my chart here, it has some little lines to show us how to do it. We start at the top for a capital B and we make one line that goes down and we say one. Then we go back up to the top and we're going to make two bumps. We're gonna say two and three. So it goes one, two, three. Put your finger up in the air up near the top, up here. And we're gonna make it come down and say one. Now go back up to the top and make your two bumps. Two and three. One more time, start at the top and make a line. One, now go back up to the top and make your bumps. Two, three, and that is how you make a capital or uppercase B. Let's try the lowercase or the small b. So on this one, we also start off with a straight line from the top, like this, one. And then we just kind of go up that line a little bit and then we make two is a circle. So our second line is a circle around. So take your finger, make it up at the top. We're gonna to come down and go one, bring it up and two, make that circle. Did you do it? Try it with me one more time. Put your finger up, let's make a line down. One and two. And there we have our lowercase b. What sound does a b make? We know that every letter makes a sound. And so what does b sound like in a word? Well, we have a song for that too. The B says B, the B says B. Every letter makes a sound. The B says B, the B says B, the B says B. Every letter makes a sound. The B says B. And let's take a peek here at some words where we can really hear that B sound in the beginning of the word. 
put them closer to the camera so you can see. This is a type of a fruit. It's yellow and we peel it. Can you tell me what that is? You're right, it's a banana. Do you hear the B at the beginning? Say b b banana. B b banana. That's a good B word. Here's another B word. Let's stretch out our arms. Can you make your arms fly and fly like this? It's a b b butterfly. Say that with me. B b butterfly. You got it. Look at how pretty they are. This is something fun to play with. It's round, you can bounce it, you can throw it, you can kick it, all kinds of fun things. This is a b b ball. Say that word with me, b b ball. And this is another cute little B word. We have a very tiny human here that we call a baby. Say b b baby, b b baby. Do you see that baby has two B sounds in it? It has a B at the beginning and a B in the middle, baby. Very good, you hear both of those sounds, don't you? We have over here another word that starts with a B. It is a short little word that only has three sounds. And our first sound is the B. So we're gonna have our friend here, Lila, the library ladybug. She's going to help us sound out this word. We're gonna see if we can figure out what this word is just by taking the sounds apart and then putting the sounds back together. So our first sound is b. Say that with me, b. We're gonna tap that sound on our shoulder. So Lila's gonna tap on my shoulder. You can use your hand and tap your shoulder. Say b. Now we'll take the middle sound and say ah. The a makes an ah sound. So we say b ah. I'm gonna tap my elbow and say ah. Can you do that too? B ah. And our last sound is a t, which makes a t sound. We're gonna tap our wrist and make the T sound. So we say T down here. So our three sounds are B, A, T. We're gonna tap those, let's do it. B, A, T. Can you hear what sound that would, or what word that would make if we blend all those sounds together? What word is that making? Let's see if we can do it. This time we're going to blend the words together while we slide our hand down our arm. B, A, T. Bat. Bat is our word, right? We can do it here. B, at, bat. Did you know that there's a lot of words that rhyme with bat? If we keep the at part on the end and we change out our beginning sound, we can make rhyming words. So what if we took off the b at the beginning and changed it to a k? Now we have k, at, cat. Say cat, bat. Those are rhyming words. What if we took off the beginning sound again and made the beginning sound a s? Let's do that one. S at, sat. Say sat, bat. Those are rhyming words too. Can we rhyme all three of those words? Say bat, cat, sat. Yep, those are all three rhyming words because they have the last part of it. We kept the same, we just changed the beginning sound. We have one more thing to do on our chart over here. We have a story that has a bunch of B sounds in it. So let's take a look at what's going on over here. We have a boy and his name is Bobby. There's a lot of B's in here, aren't there? Bobby, Bobby blows bubbles as big as can be. B, B, B. Bigger, bigger, boom! What happens when you blow a bubble too big? It bursts, doesn't it? Bubbles burst when you get too big. That's another good B word. So that's a short little B story with lots of B words. Do you think you can help me count all the Bs in this story? Hmm, let's bring this up a little bit closer so you can see the bees even better. And let's see if we can find them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I found 17. Did I get them all or did I miss any? Did you count any that I didn't count? 
Sometimes I miss them. That's why I want you to help me out. All right, so that was our short little bee story. We're going to do a bee book next, and we're going to do some a little finger play when we get done. The story that we're going to read today is titled Boats, and it's by an author who also has bees in his name. His name is Byron Barton. So we have B -b boats by B -b Byron B -b Barton. How, is that? How about that for a lot of bees in the title today? It's just a little book, so I'm going to bring it close to the camera so you can see it. Boats, Byron Barton. On the water, there goes a rowboat. And a rowboat doesn't have a motor on it, does it? You have to row it. Here comes a sailboat sailing by. Sometimes when you look out at the lake on a nice day, you can see sailboats going by, especially if there's a good breeze. There is a motorboat speeding through the waves. How many of you have a boat that you used to go out on the water? I bet some of you do. A fire boat rushes to put out a fire. Just like we have fire engines, we also have fire boats. In case there's a fire on the water. A ferry boat carries people in cars. So if you have to go over to an island and bring your car, your car can go on a boat too. Did you know that? There goes a fishing boat out to sea. Going to go catch some fish. Here comes a cruise ship into the harbor. Cruise ships are very, very big boats. Lots and lots of people can go on those. Here comes a tugboat to help the ship dock. And a little boat like this can pull a big boat like that to help it out. Here is the tugboat pushing and pulling. And he's helping the big boat. Here is the ship at the dock. You can see they're throwing down the lines to get it all tied up at the dock. Here are the workers loading the ship. Sometimes ships carry all kinds of things from one place to another. Here are the people going on board. There they go, up the ramp and onto the ship. Here are the people waving goodbye. You're saying bye. Can you say bye? Yeah, wave to him. And there goes the ship sailing away. Bon voyage. And that means have a good trip. So think about our book Boats. And when we're done, can you talk about with the grown up that you're with what kind of boats that you saw? In this story, what do you remember and what kind of boats do you see when you look at the water? Do you see some of these boats when you look out at the lake too? Next, I'm going to move the camera back and we'll do a little finger play that starts with the letter B. Let's do a finger play. So take your fingers. Can you make them go like this? So you have two fingers up in the air. We're going to turn our fingers right now. Our hand is going to be a bunny. Can you say the word bunny? What letter does that start with? It starts with a B and it makes the B sound. B, B, bunny. So here's his head and here are our bunny's ears. And we're going to make our bunny, what does a bunny do when it moves? It goes up and down. It bounces. Bounce starts with a B. So this is baby bunny bounces. Can you make your bunny bounce with me? Baby bunny bounces high. Make your bunny go high. Baby bunny bounces low. Make your bunny go nice and low. Baby bunny blinks his eyes. Can you go blink, blink, blink? Baby bunny waves goodbye. Wave goodbye. And I'm going to wave goodbye to you as well because it is just about time for us to wrap up our reading ABCs for this week. Let's sing one more song. So what was our letter today? Say it. 
B. It was a B. And what does a B say? B, right? It makes the B sound. So let's sing, what was our letter today? What was our letter today? B was our letter today. B was our letter today. What was our letter today? What was our letter today? B was our letter today. B was our letter today. Thank you so much for joining me for the letter B. Check out our other videos on YouTube. We have all the vowels up there already and we're starting in with the consonants with letter B and we'll have more up there in the upcoming weeks as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and we'll see you later.